to switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling. Then click on unsaved view here and select AC isometry. Then give UCS icon command, enter no region. Then click here on 2D wireframe and select shaded. Here we will be creating this object. At first we will create this plate of 75 by 52 sides. Click on this box command. Give the first point. Take your cursor away. Then give the length of 75. Then press the tab button. And give the width of 52. Then press enter. And give the height of 9. Enter. Then zoom all. Z enter. A enter. Zoom minus. Then next we want to create this portion. Now this portion is created on this surface. At first we will change our UCS to this surface. Click here and select face option. Select on this face and enter. Make grid off. Click here. Then we will create this portion in empty space. At first we will create these circles of 15 and 15 plus 8 radius that is 23. Take the circle command, give the first point, give the radius of 15, enter. Again enter, take the center point, give the radius of 23, enter. Then we need only half circles. Take the line command, connect from this quadrant to this quadrant, enter. Then trim the unwanted portion, click on trim here, select this cutting edge and this circle as a cutting edge, enter, click on the object to be removed, enter. Then from the center, this height is 40 and there are these vertical lines at the gap of 9. Take the line command. Then take your cursor to the center, make ortho on, give the height of 40, enter, enter. Then offset these lines, click on offset, give the gap of 4.5, enter, select this line, take on this side and click there, again click on this line, click on the left side and click there and press enter. Again line command, connect the bottom portion. Enter. Then erase the middle line. Give E. Enter. Select this line. Enter. Then trim the unwanted portion. Trim. Press enter and remove the unwanted portion. Enter. Now here we will have to press pull this shape for the distance of 52. Click on press pull. Take your cursor inside this shape. Click there. Give the direction, give the depth of 50 to enter. Then press escape. Then move this portion and place on this plate. Click on move, select the object, enter. Then give the base point. We will match the midpoint of this object to the midpoint of this plate. Take this midpoint, take your cursor here and click on this midpoint. Make ortho off, click on this midpoint. The next portion is this rib of 8 width. We already have this shape. We will have to create this line of 33 and connect it here. Take the line command. Click on this point. Make ortho on. Give the length of 33. Enter and connect to this point. Enter. Then again press pull. Select this internal portion. Click there. Give the direction. Give the depth of 8. Enter. Enter. Then again we will have to move this shape to here. Again click on move. Select this object. Enter. Then give the base point. This midpoint will be the base point and this midpoint will be the second point. Click here and click on shaded with edges. Then erase this portion. Give E. Enter. Select this object. Enter. Same rib is on the opposite side. For that we will mirror it. Click on this 3D mirror. Select the object, enter, then we will define three points for the plane. 
now mirror plane will be at the center click on three points then define the first point of the mirror plane this midpoint will be the first point then this center will be the second point and this center will be the third point then delete source object no if you orbit it press shift press middle mouse button and drag the mouse you can view that rib is created on both the side now all these objects are separate you can combine them using this union command click on union select all the object and press enter now all the objects are connected click on AC isometry then to give color to this object double click on it choose the color and press escape then to give the dimensions click on annotate now at first we will give dimension on the front plane because we already have the our uses to front plane before giving dimension we will choose the annotative dimension style click here and select annotative then click here ok we will start with 1s to 1 ok give the first point give the second point take your cursor away and click there then to make this dimension visible click here and increase the scale it is not showing the dimension click on these buttons and increase the scale now it is showing it properly or increase it ok then we don't want these four zeros for that click here on dimension style click on modify then click on this primary units and in the precision section click on this zero then in text make it ISO standard and from here make it above so it will go above the dimension line click on ok click on close now it is properly visible again click on dimension give the first point give the second point and give the location point click on this first point second point take your cursor above and click there then to give the radius of this arc escape click here and click on this radius select this arc take your cursor inside and click there now it is going down because object snap is on make this object snap off so that it will choose the point we specify erase this dimension enter again click on radius click on this arc take your cursor inside and click there click on dimension give the first point make object snap on give the first point give the second point take your cursor above and click there then to show the line below this press escape click on this dimension style modify then click on this fit and click here draw dim line between extension lines ok close so it will show line there again click on dimension give the first point second point and location then next is this dimension of 52 on this surface press escape click on home click here and click on this face click on this face enter and again click on annotate dimension give the first point give the second point give the location here then this dimension of 33 on this horizontal surface press escape then click on home click here click on face select this surface enter for dimension give the dim command enter then take this end point this end point give the location then this 8 now 8 is on this surface press escape click here choose the face click on this face enter then give the dim command dim enter take the first point take the second point and give the dimension escape then last is this 22 on this surface again click here click on face select this face enter give the dim command enter give the first point give the second point and give the location press escape that's all thanks for watching we will stop here